So this video is to show you how to properly use the Zoho FSM app. I'm going to show you how you start the app, how you log your information, how you put your notes in, and most importantly, how you get the customer to sign because we're going to need a signature in order to build these customers because they need to validate the work that we had. And this is the ticket. I created a test ticket. So the first thing you want to do once you find your ticket that's assigned to you, I went into the tab, click view more, and then I clicked on dispatched service appointments. And that, that should bring up all the work that's associated to you. So you click on that dispatch service, start the work. Now what it's going to do is start recording the time that you got there. So once you start the work and let's say, you know, your work is finished, you can scroll over, see all these tabs here, you could, you have the overview, you will have the territory information, the contact information, the company information, and all the details inside this work order for you to understand what you need to do at that job. This would be telling you if you need to add any parts or anything like that. If there's any tasks that would be assigned to this, I will put them here. Like if you're doing an inspection, clean smoke detector, sign in, stuff like that. So there'd be a bunch of tasks that's here that you will have to complete on these service calls. So you completed the work, you did what you had to do, you fixed it or you got to come back, whatever the case may be. You want to create a service report and this is very important. So when you create a service report, you're going to click that button, you're going to click next, you're going to add your summary type in whatever you had did at that particular job. Actually, this is how we're gonna type it. So what you're gonna say is, upon arrival, found system, I don't know, in trouble, then list the troubles, all right? If you found the system in trouble, you wanna record all the troubles that was listed prior to you doing any work on a system. But if you walked in and you found the system was in normal operation, that's what you're going to say. So depending on how the system is when you first walk in, you will want to jot that down in the beginning. So let's say if you're going to change some batteries and you walked in, the system was normal. You go upon arrival, found the system in normal operation, began to replace the main panel or a backup panel or booster panel, whatever panel batteries you're replacing, you want to state that. Replace the main panel, backup batteries, clear the low battery fault and left the system in normal operation. This is how the service ticket should be looking. I'm not, I don't really care about complete sentences. You could even list it, but you have to put some type of detailed information in there to let them know what you did, exactly what you did, what you found when you got there, what you did and what you did and how the system is after you had left, right? So once you get that information from there, you could go and take, add a note. If we got to come back and replace some parts. So if you want to take a picture of what you just did, you can do that. Click next. You could even ask the customer for a feedback, ask them to give you a rating, but most importantly, you want them to put a signature. So you click this add button here, they put their signature, you make sure you save it. The thing with this is it has to be connected to the internet. So if you're not connected to either a Wi-Fi or if your phone is not, your phone is out of service, you won't be able to get to this part. You, you have to do this at a point where your phone has service. So once you get the signature, you save and you create. Now the report is created, so the work is potentially done. So when you complete the work and you're done with this, over here, since this is a demo, it's not letting me close it out, but over here, you will be able to close out this work order right here, because once you hit start work, the work is gonna be started, and then you can hit complete work at that point, and this will close out the service ticket. So if you have any questions on how you could make this work, let me know.